Hello, welcome to another video in which I will be sharing another common error messages uh, that you'll be seeing when launching your cam session or OpenLab cam session software. Before you get started, please help me subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. So let's get into this error message. Uh, let's first, uh, let me first show you the OpenLab control panel. Right, okay, and I'm going to launch, launch my uh, instrument right now. Okay, it will take a few seconds to launch your instrument. Okay, be patient, okay? All right, so there you go. So what you see from now is uh, it will show you like an old error message from here and it will stop you from launching the software. It will say auto start macro failed. So that means something is wrong. Right, you, you can launch your software and we say you the error codes over here, which is 42 in this case. But, but believe me, you don't need to care about this number actually. What you need to look for is auto start macro file. So that's good enough for, to, uh, for you to know what's wrong and to fix the problem that I'm going to show you in this video, right? So, but very, very common that you see errors 999, okay? But again, you don't have to uh, worry about that number, okay? So let me hit OK and I will show you what, how to fix this problem. Okay, then the software will go into something like this, but it doesn't look normal. And I'm going to close the software. Uh, and it's kind of hang over there, so I need to go to Task Manager and uh, close the software from here. Okay. All right, so let me show you how to fix that software, uh, the, the issue just now. So basically, what's happening was uh, some of the so called conf configuration files has been corrupted. That's why you see that kind of message. Okay, and the reason could be uh, it's very common that I have been seeing over and over again that uh, when the lab has something like a power trip or the PC got like a certain shutdown, you know, like power trip, someone just uh, unplugged the power cord or whatever the reason it is, uh, you will see that uh, some of the files could be corrupted quite easily, right? Okay, so, so uh, I'll show you how to fix that one. Uh, first, you need to go into uh, your C drive. And then you get into program data. And in order to see program data, some of the uh, OS, you need to uh, uh, so -called enable the hidden items over here. You go to views and check the hidden, uh, hidden items over here in order to see program data. Uh, but uh, because right now I'm using my version, the, one, the version I'm using is quite new. C0110, which is the latest version. So that's why uh, the link to go to uh, the final destination are a little bit different from, from your one if you are using older version. So if you are using the older version, it will be C, game 32, and then you will see one, two, three, or four, five, whatever instrument that you are having right there. Okay. But if you are using a new version like my C01.10, you'll be going to program data. And then you'll be going to uh, Agile Technologies, then Game Station. Then there you, go. you have one, two, three, whatever instrument that you have over here. It's just the same that if you are using the old version, it will be C, Game 32 over here, and then uh, you will see one, two, three, right? So, okay, so which instrument you just load? Uh, you just tried to launch just now, then you just want to go into that instrument. In my case, it was instrument number two. Then I will go into that, okay. And then if you scroll down uh, at the bottom, you'll be seeing four different files. It's say config.ieg, chemstation per instrument settings.config, instrument.config, and rapidcontrol.instrumentconfig.sml. So these four files uh, are the one that could be corrupted when you uh, have a power shutdown, you know, certain shutdown of the PC or power trip, right? So uh, the error message just now is showing 42. And that, that means one of these four files, again, we don't know which file is, it's not important at all to know which file it is uh, corrupted. But, but you will get different numbers depending on which file corrupted. And the very common numbers that we see will be at, uh, arrow 999, 999. Uh, so one of these files are corrupted. You'll be seeing that very often, okay? Okay, but regardless of whether 42, 99, or whatever number it is, uh, the way to fix the problem is the same. So because we don't know which files are corrupted, we basically want to change everything, right? So that's really a safe way to do, 
Okay, so what you need to do is you go to one by one. The first one is config.ig, right click on it and hit the rename button. Okay, okay, then you want to add .old at the end here. Okay, but before you uh, you add .old over here, you want to make sure that your uh, window is currently showing the extension of your file. Okay, in this case, my, my one is registration entries, that one .aig is showing up here. So you want to add this old after reg right so some, because some of the windows actually uh, disable this uh, extension oh, okay so you don't see the dot reg over here so uh, before you start doing this step that i'm going to do right now make sure you google and find out how to add this dot uh, reg uh, extension into your windows okay so you just add dot old old i'm sorry at the end over here then it will ask you whether you want to accept it, you say yes. And then that's the first file. The second file you want to change the camp session per instrument settings dot config. And then the same thing, you get want to add dot old again. Uh, you need to show the extension over here before you add dot old. Okay, say okay. Then you have one more instrument dot config. And when you add old, okay. And then you want to add one more for the last one, rapid control dot instrument config OLD again. Okay, so you, you have four different OLD uh, files over here. So basically what that means is the software will not be using these four anymore, right? So now you can start, uh, you can go back to your open lab control panel and you start launching your software. So what happened just now was we renamed the config file, uh, all four of them. Okay, so that's why the software doesn't know which config to load anymore. So that's why we pop up a window for you to select the new configuration, the configuration of your EC, your instrument right now. Okay, and uh, depending on which version you are using, the window might look a little bit different, but uh, it's kind of up more or less uh, very similar. Okay, you just need to look for your instrument from the left side over here. The name may be a little bit different, but you should know. I think you will know which one. Uh, okay. In my case, that is instrument uh, 1790DC over here. I want to move it over to the right side. And then a new window will pop up like this and it will ask you for the IP address, GC name and the notes. You don't have to key in anything. Uh, it's just optional. And But IP address is something you really need to key in. Okay. And in order to know the IP address of your instrument, in this case, uh, the, on GC, uh, you want to go into this. So this is the uh, the outlook of the 1790 BGC. Uh, you want if you want to find out the IP address of the instrument, you go to you hit the option button right here, and then you will be seeing uh, calibration, communication, thing like that. Then you hit the arrows over here to move down to communication. Hit the enter button, and then you will be seeing the IP address display on top here. And once you see the IP address, simply that do enter those IP address into this box over here. So for my case. Because I don't have a real EC connected right now, I'm using a virtual EC version. So, but I do have the IP address here, one two seven dot one. What I'm going to do, I will key in that IP address over here, dot dot one, right? Then you will hit the get EC configuration to make sure that the communication is back. Give it a few seconds, right? So once it's uh, okay, then you will see the configuration will appear over here. You, okay, then you just hit okay. And then the EC is configured uh, successfully, just hit OK. And then the software will be able to uh, generate and to launch uh, successfully. And then you can just start running your uh, data to acquire your data, change your method, whatever, uh, as normal. Okay, boom, no more error messages, right? Okay. Okay, let me maximize the window. There you go. So then no more error messages and the EC is able to be connected successfully without any more errors like that. Okay. Why I want to show you one more thing is if you go back to the the, the uh, uh, folder just now, these are the all the four old files just now. And what happened is when you start launching your instrument again and the software will actually recreate new uh, so-called config files over here.
product uh, it will, there will be no more errors anymore right okay so uh, once you're happy with all of this you can you can just uh, delete all of this uh, old files or if you keep them over here it doesn't matter that that's okay okay so uh, that's the way how we fix the problem of the uh, auto start macro file the error message i show you from the beginning of the video and uh, that will work every single time i've been doing this many many times for my customers and uh, it should work for you as well okay so let me know in the comments uh, if you have any problem to uh, fix this problem or uh, or even if you have problem to find out the ip address of your ec model because the one just now i show you was uh, city uh, 1790 and if you are using uh, another model like CT90 or even 8890, the newest model, there's no keyboard over here. If you don't know how to find out the IP address, let me know in the comment. I will show you that. Okay. And uh, that's all for this video. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know if you have any other suggestions or comments or whatever uh, skills that you want to learn. Okay. And uh, I will put uh, a few more videos in the, at the end of uh, this video so that you can learn more about uh, all the skills, right? So, but don't forget to subscribe to my channel, right? So, thank you for, very much for your support. I really appreciate that and I will see you in my next video. Take care.